Okay, now. This is, again, another fun, fun, fun session learning. If you like to learn, you can have some fun learning. Um, we all get our um, Googles out. Because, see, many years ago, thir you know, in the 30s and 40s and maybe even 50s, okay? Um, why would Dr. Kinley go up there and say, hey, um, you know, these three are one. These three are one. Okay? Look, you had a lot of um, old-time religious people back there, you know, and uh, they wanted to hear what's in the Bible, period. Okay, so Dr. Kinley couldn't say, well, that's a wrong statement. So I'm going to have to change that to Yahweh is a unity. Couldn't do that back there without losing people. So he had to preach and he had to put out a chart what's in the book. He just had to do it. The end. But now people are swearing up and down and hating people for it and everything that these three are one. If you don't believe these three are one, because Dr. Kinley said it, I just explained why. And we're going to hate your guts because you say three are one. Okay. So I guess the three are one doctrine is full of hate. Oh, well. That's to be expected. Okay, now. Um, yeah, I already explained all this here. There's, uh, you know, like, if, if, they put, if you put anything else on that chart besides what's in the Bible, they'd accuse him. Of changing the Bible, so oh. now then later on, what he did is he clarified everything. He clarified it by saying, um, "Now, I think he used Deuteronomy six and four. He says, Hear, O Israel, uh, the Lord thy God, or Yahweh Elohim, is one.' He said that's incorrect." This is your founder saying that three are one are incorrect. And what's correct is that Yahweh is a unity. So he is the one that's making the distinction. Okay, not me and nobody else, but he's the one that's making the distinction now. So, and then he put it in the moderation. That um, um, these three make up the one tabernacle pattern. Okay. He put that in moderation. Now that's very interesting because he puts it in moderation and guess what? We still say these three are one. It's not what three make up the one tabernacle means. The three that make up the one tabernacle is the same three that make up the one Godhead, which is the three witnesses that are in heaven three witnesses, not one witness, not these three witnesses are one witness, it doesn't go that way, okay, and see over here, if you want, want to just talk about one, fine, here's one tabernacle, now you come over here, you got one, two, three, they work all together in unity, there's three parts, which is the one, two, three compartments in the tabernacle that make up the whole. That's how he works. Okay? He works making sense. Now, um, see, he corrects the thing by saying that um, the Godhead is a unity. He corrects it. But guess what? Class refuses to hear it. Because what they do is they say, well, <laughs> unity in one means one. Unity in one means one. No, it does not. No, it does not. Not according to the universe and not according to Google. There is no such thing. In the English language, there is no such thing in math. You can't prove it outside of the Bible. You just can't do it. And But yet, 
they will not hear. So you can preach Yahweh is a unity all you want. They're going to still preach 3 or 1 because they can not hear. They, seriously, it's a lot of people just can't handle the truth. And why do I say that? Because you can Google this thing and prove that he's a unity and not one. And you will not believe it. You will disbelieve it. So that's what basically I'm up against all the time. And see, to me, the wrong doctrine has a, a rotten attitude. So when you're saying like, well, three are one, and if you don't believe it, I'm going to hate your guts, and all, all that stuff. You know, the, the doctrine and the attitude goes together to me. Maybe not all the time, but the majority of the time it does. Okay? Okay. And that's the reason why he had to preach it. He had to write it in the books. He had to say it on the floor. Because if he didn't, these people would um, accuse him of not going into the book. Okay? And knowing that it was wrong, but he had to preach it. Okay. And you older people should know that. Oh, well. Okay. Bye-bye.